Three-way switch allows you to turn the light on from two locations, right. say the top of the stairs or the bottom. Yeah, but it's a little bit more complicated than the wiring, right? Yeah, so I've got a model here that we can show you uh, right. three ways how they work. Here's a three-way switch. Three-way has three connections. We have a common screw, which is always a dark color, different. Common for power? Common allows power either into the switch or out of the switch. Okay. Then we have two travelers. Those are the same color. They're silver. Mm -hmm. Two the traveler switches. The travelers, travelers mean what? Mean that they, two switches can talk to each other. It travels mm -hmm. back and forth between the switches. Okay. And then a ground. Gotcha. That's on all the switches. Yeah. All now, right. Over here we have a model of it when it works. We have, you can turn on at one location. You turn off at the other location. Mm -hmm. Each switch can override the other switch. Gotcha. And the way this works is it's got power coming in from the panel, mm -hmm. coming into the first switch. Power comes in on the black wire, returns on the white wire, which is neutral, and this is the ground. All right, and this is what you guys actually call a two wire, because you don't really count the ground. Yeah. Gotcha. So once power is into the switch, at the switch location, then the power connects to the common. We have three wires going between the two switches. This is different here. All right, and so obviously you've got the white, the black, we disregard the ground, and here's the third. Yeah. All right. So in this case, we have two travelers, the black and the red. Mm-hmm. This is one way of wiring the switch. Mm. We also have a second way that we have here on the diagram. Okay, walk me through this please. In this one, power is coming in from the panel into the first switch box. Yeah. Now this will catch you, the white wire, we're using orange here, but the orange is the white wire, white, red, and black, yep. traveling between the two switches. But in this case, we're taking line from the first box to the second switch. So this white wire is hot in this case. Yeah. So don't be fooled, they're not always safe. One of the rare situations you can have a hot white wire. Gotcha. And once it gets into this switch, the switch can make a connection between one of the travelers, there's a connection in the second switch, and the light is turned on. So this represents the on. So literally electricity comes through here, follows all the way around, connects, continues, turns the light on. Mm -hmm. If I were to physically switch one of these switches, that would be represented by breaking this connection here, making the connection right there, but now the electricity would come through all the way. Hot on the white wire. Past this switch. Through the traveler. But stop there. Yep. Because there's no connection. Mm -hmm. So that would represent the off position. Yeah. So I understand this, but what do we do about our problem? Well, we're going to turn out the power and we're going to go test the switch. All right, I got that breaker off for you, Peg. Okay, thank you. Take that cover plate off. Now, even though you've turned off the breaker, I always test to make sure the power's off. So you've got yourself a tester right there. Absolutely. I have a voltage tester from ground to all connections. No power. I'm safe to take this switch out. Now, these switches could still be on. They could be on a separate circuit. <laughs> so stay away so from them. I need to be aware of that or shut those circuits off also. All right. Now we'll take the switch out so that we can test it out on the table. So first I'm going to take the wires off the switch, but I'm going to label them so that I know which wire is which. All right, help you put them back together. Yeah, and I'm gonna relabel the hot white wire as black. So permanent black marker to make sure no one forgets that that's hot ever in the future. Yeah. Okay, so what people don't realize is it could be either of the switches that's broken. Mm -hmm. So we're taking this switch out of the wall, we're gonna test it with this continuity tester. All right, so how does this work? We've got power created somewhere? This has a small battery in it and a beeper. When you touch the two wires, it completes the circuit and it beeps. Okay. Now, if this switch is working properly, we will get continuity only between common and one of the screws. So it will only send power to one of those traveler screws. Yeah. So we have common to this screw, and we get a beep. Okay. We go common to this screw without flipping the switch, Ooh. and we get a beep. So that was where the light was staying on, because both of these are allowing the current to go from screw to screw. This is the one we replaced. Okay, with all the wires reconnected on the switch, I'm going to wrap some black electrical tape around it just to protect all the connections on the switch. Good tip. And now we'll screw the switch back into the wall. All right, here's the cover plate and I'll Thank go you. get that breaker. Great. Okay, power's on, let's test it. My switch? All right, that was working fine. How about yours? All right, and my switch? Also working. Looks good. Problem solved. Mm -hmm.